The following is a selected video from yourteacher.com where you can browse over 450 complete math lessons with example videos, interactive practice problems, self-tests, and more. Try a complete lesson today at yourteacher.com. In order to decide whether the given fractions are equivalent, first write each fraction in lowest terms. Remember, a fraction is written in lowest terms if the greatest common factor of the numerator and the denominator is 1. So for our first fraction, 7 tenths, since the greatest common factor of 7 and 10 is 1, we know that our fraction is already written in lowest terms. For our second fraction, however, since the greatest common factor of 14 and 20 is 2, we must divide both the numerator and the denominator by 2 to write our fraction in lowest terms. This gives us 7 tenths. Since both fractions are written in lowest terms as 7 tenths, we know that they must be equivalent. 